Welcome to how to make a radio controlled bomb zone in condition zero. First, I've made a hole in a wall. I haven't used a carve tool because that's evil. You just want to use like four blocks. Next, you want to make the thing that'll explode. You can just make a block. And what I like to do sometimes is just make the block and use the clipping tool and just slice it up a bunch. But make sure both sides are kept, which you can change by clicking on the clipping tool just slice it up. So you can do this or you can do a better way which is probably way better but I like doing this because it's fun. And now you can just click on separate parts and delete them to make a hole that looks like it's been blown out of. This looks good enough for what I want. So now we can make the block that you're going to blow up. This is just going to make another block again, just a simple one like you did before. Only this time we're going to make it resemble the shape. And so you want to make it look like you can blow it up by just kind of making little, little holes in it. Once you've done that, you can select all of the blocks that you want to use to blow up. Press Ctrl T and this will put them together as one. And you want to have it be a funk breakable. Now I'm just going to set the strength to 20 and set the material type to rocks I'm going to set the jibs direction to random and the jib model to be jibs wall orange jibs are basically things that fly out when something explodes or breaks and then further down only damaged by I'm going to set to radio controlled bomb because you don't want to shoot it and then it break, do you? So now we're going to get the model for the radio controlled bomb. We're just going to make a new entity, make an item generic. We're going to set its name to be something like target bomb one. We're going to make its model the R control search for that and then you want to pick W R control bomb indicator open that and now you'll see that the bomb has turned into this little bomb and then you can rotate this and position it where you want it like so what we also want to do is set the render effects to fast wide pulse and the render mode to additive we also want to set the FX amount to 70 and make sure this is on yes. Time for the trigger. So we want to make a box we want the trigger to be nice and simple. Get the trigger texture. Press Ctrl T and have it be a trigger underscore use tool. This is a trigger that lets you use a tool like the radio controlled bomb, the radio, camera, all these things. And so you want to set the RC bomb target to your target bomb one. This is where the bomb that you place goes. And so if you set it to the wall, then the bomb will be placed on the wall, but it will replace the wall. And so then the wall will disappear and you'll have a bomb in place of that. And so you want to set it to the model. And so the model will then disappear and the actual bomb will be there. Tool name, you just want to have a zero. Tool set, you want to make it the RC bomb and you don't need to worry about anything else. The flags you don't need to worry about, that's all fine. And so now, at the start, we can just give our our player an RC bomb. You can do this with a give weapon or whatever it's called. I'm just going to do weapon underscore radio controlled bomb and that's it. If the wall doesn't break, make sure to have only trigger turned off. 